Hey guys, God bless. I wasn't really satisfied with the sound quality in the last video, so I wanted to go ahead and make another video and uh, kind of redo what I did in the last one. Um, so again, this video is about the transgender uh, movement, and the title of it is Can We Be Fooled? And it's, it's a rhetorical question. Yes, we can be fooled uh, very easily. We've been fooled this whole time. And um, <clears throat> it goes back to the verses, and I'll pull up the verses here in just a minute, about how the, the God of this world has blinded us, but yet Jesus Christ has come to uh, set us free and heal us of our blindness and show us the light of the gospel, which is, of course, through Jesus Christ. It's the only way. Okay, there is no... In this, mo in this video, you can kind of get into... People can see some some hints, I guess, of the new age movement or gnosticism or and you know some of that garbage i want to tell you up front jesus christ my lord and savior he's the only way uh out of this mess he is the perfect dna representation of mankind to come here and die for our sins uh, on the cross to give us eternal life and to take us back home where we originally came from and uh so that out of the way um is my profession, is my profession of faith, that that's who I trust, that's who I follow, nothing else. Um, so you have this transgender movement, and what you have is, and, and mostly we're just going to talk about the elite because they're obviously the center and focus of all of this, but they've been doing this for many, many, many generations, traced back all the way to Sodom and Gomorrah, probably before that, uh, in, into Babylon, and uh, and and. You, you read about them in the Bible. They're the the Sodomites. They're the Anooks. They're all these things that um, have taken on the male and female gender. And what the elite are trying to do is become godlike. Okay, and so you might think, well, how is that godlike? Okay, so there's a theory that we all come from a twin source. When God made a soul, he made a soul that was of two. It was a twin soul, okay? Again, I'm not getting into new age. However, this is what I think. And this is Genesis 5.1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man in the likeness of God, he made him. Male and female created he them. He blessed them and called their name, their name, Adam in the day that they were created. <clears throat> now we know that Eve was separated from the side and if you if you pull up a picture of uh, cell division uh, that's where you get that womb or that vesica Pisces that opening gate of the two being separated. Now what I did in a video a while back called the two witnesses is these are a picture of the two becoming one but the two become one only through jesus christ you have the two olive trees okay the two olive trees represent the two angels the two angels that are always beside christ he's usually in a uh, company of two angels and he is the central mirror he is the center they are bonded through him all right so you have one olive tree and another olive tree and this is a chromatid you have to see this video i'm not going to get into it but it's essentially bringing the two together to become one. And I often pondered, you know, why do angels seem to have both male and female characteristics? I'm not going to get too into that, okay? But because there's obviously male, and, or it seems to be in the Bible, male and female designated pronouns for angels, whether it be Lucifer or whether it be Gabriel or Michael or whoever. So, but there is some sort of, you know, when people see angels, there is some sort of, uh, um, I didn't mean to blow that up so big. There is some sort of male-female type, uh, you know, that's what they look like between a, you know, a male and a female. Um, again, let me pull this picture up here just to show you this so you at least see it. So these are the pillars, all right? God talks about the pillars, the two pillars becoming one. And this are the two olive trees, okay, with the central mirror 
I'm sorry, this, this program is responding slowly, so it's getting me kind of angry here. And it doesn't want to work. Here we go. So the central mirror, which they empty themselves of themselves into this golden oil, okay, which is Jesus Christ, the spirit of prophecy, okay? And that's your two witnesses coming together, bonded in the center by Jesus Christ. So you have these two becoming one, okay? In the spiritual sense, in the way that God intended it to. What this means, like, is there actually two different people that come together to form one individual? I don't know, okay? But I'm telling you that this is what I'm seeing, okay? That there is some sort of bonding here, the central mirror of Christ, who is the center of all these things, bringing the two together, the two pillars. This goes back to the twin towers, the two becoming one. It goes back to, and of course, this is how Satan does the um, the knockoff version, is he has to do everything through the flesh. He can't do anything through the spirit. This is through the spirit of Christ. Okay, this is, um, and what is it? There's a verse that says, not by strength or by power or by might, but by my spirit, that this happens, okay? And what Satan has done is he's taken a knockoff version of this through the flesh, through surgery, through clothes, through makeup, through uh, acts of, of, you know, of one sexual orientation becoming closer to the other. Uh, and, of course, these spirits are whispering to these people and telling them, um, you know, that they are this way, that this is their intention. This is how they were made. And it goes back to we're all trying to get back to where we came from. This is the original plan of God, not what they are doing today, the knockoff version, which is through the flesh, through the surgery, through the, you know, the manipulation, through trickery, through surgeries all these different things okay so i wanted to show this just to show you that I'm, I'm what i'm seeing are these two pillars becoming one in christ's way not the way of the enemy so let me throw this verse up here real quick okay so again the god of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not and this is this is found all throughout the bible how the enemy has blinded okay um just going to show you a few things here. Blinded their eyes, hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, that I would heal them. Okay, so this is Jesus Christ. This is why he went around healing the the blind. It was symbolic of healing the spiritually blind, those that cannot see, those that cannot hear. And he would in turn heal them. Okay, that's what it all goes back to. Okay, so let's look at some things here. Okay, so these are the two channels I talked about in the first video. Okay, you have Michelle Y. Okay, here's her channel and all her videos. Okay, she's got quite a few of them. Again, this woman lives in Hollywood. She works in the industry in Hollywood. She has something to do with medical. I, I don't know. I, I would guess dietitian maybe or something of that nature. I don't know. But she has degrees in anatomy, physiology. Uh, she speaks in a very scientific way on how these people have tricked us. She knows all the surgeries that they give uh, out in Hollywood, how to shave the chin, how to shave the trachea, uh, brow ridges. Um, the makeup, how makeup just really, really can um, trick your mind. Uh, she works with these people, so she keeps her identity pretty pretty private. I think there's like one picture of her, but she doesn't show herself, um, you know, uh, on her videos. And she talks about all these people. She's met most of them and knows most of them. But yet she uh, very, you know, comes out and basically exposes them for what they are and who they are. And uh, I've watched probably about 80% of her videos, and every time I am just, I'm like this guy right here, I am just shocked at what I'm seeing. 
and it she'll pull them up in swimsuits and explain the you know the index and ring finger ratios and and clavicles and long arms and and uh and does a very good job of of doing that exposing them uh so anyway that is her channel if you want to get into this uh another channel is transpocalypse now who does the same thing uh he's not part of the industry um i'm not sure exactly what he does uh but he takes it to a biblical more in a biblical way and more of a historical way about babylon about the sodomites and all the things that i just mentioned the enochs uh all the uh the androgynous people that lived in the biblical times they've been doing this for a long 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 time mainstream people are just now catching on to this and uh they've done this for a a very very long time like like politicians that pose as one sex but are really another um there's one down here it's a really good example this mr mills of maine um obviously a man trying to be a woman and again these are the spirits inside these people trying to get back to their original state they acted out in the flesh that's all they can do okay they can do everything in the flesh remember the flesh is here's another one um uh, some sort of you know male to female uh thing going on and he breaks down all these some of these i i have a hard time with uh some of them i don't some are very easy to see some really woke me up and shook me up i was like you've got to be kidding me you know that i thought this person was one sex or the other so it's it's a very 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 well documented um uh channel and he also goes into they give out hints to their identity through their media through their songs through their acting through their uh their roles that they play through their names even that they have um you know bullock you know just different thing i mean he goes way in way into it so just a couple channels that i would urge you to check out now i'm going to show you some pictures because we all can be fooled and it, it took a really a good couple weeks for me to really come to grips with all this that this is actually happening and we really have been tricked so let's take a look at a few things so i would ask you this this is the one that woke me up okay this is what woke me up right here is this a male or a female this is a female named buck angel buck angel has a vagina okay and has i'm not gonna get too graphic here but this is this is buck angel if you saw this guy on the beach what would you think it's a guy it's a dude there's yeah there's no question about it right i don't want to get too graphic here but you can search him and his history and who he is and everything about him and um find out what his real gender is because it isn't a male okay it's a female and that's what really woke me up okay and there's several different pictures of him on the internet again i don't want to get too doggone graphic here but um you can see the pictures of him well built muscular i mean but it's a man or it's a female it's a female and um and that's the one that really really woke me up this is this is him before surgery or god he hasn't had surgery this is him before uh treatments of testosterone and everything else right here on the left and this is him now her now dang it so just now catching up to um mainstream media okay just now catching up to mainstream media on this and there's several others several others so can you be fooled i mean very well built guys you know
It's their way of the spirits that's inside them crying out to go back to the way they once were in a way. In a way that we can't understand yet completely, okay? Now, Mr. E thinks that this, the, uh, I can't remember the Supreme Court case uh, for this guy, he thinks they were the same person battling back and forth as some sort of ritualistic hoopla that they did, uh, that the elite had to do, or that he had to do to get that position, whatever the case is. I, he goes into it, um, again, for your discernment. <clears throat> Just going to go through some pictures here real quick. Augmentee of the breasts. And if, if these are just ordinary, everyday type people doing this, you can't imagine what they've been doing. Some say they're doing it in utero now. They can There's drugs that they can do and treatments that they can take in utero to have this done. Um, but it's, either way, it's been going on for a very, very long time. And that knowledge has come back by way of the fallen, of course. Okay, I'll leave the link to this uh, file again below. So like like I said in the last video um, about uh, I woke up in the morning and I was thinking all this just like kind of rushed my mind. And uh, I was led to this, um, hearing this in my mind uh, about the Wonder Twins. And I remember Wonder Twin Powers activate, you know, the whole, the whole deal. They would join their hands together and they could shapeshift or change or have superpowers. So I'll show you a quick video here. I'm not going to play that whole video like I did in the first one. I'm just going to play a little bit. But I thought it was really interesting that they appeared in October 1977. And it was the seventh um, Super Friends comic that they appeared in. So just, you know, and there, there's other sevens as well in the video. Issue number seven, October 77. Um, and, of course, they're kind of... Uh, odd gifts slash um, start and when I thought of this when I saw the two becoming one I immediately thought <clears throat> well here's the uh, let's get a good picture here something like this I immediately thought of our chromosome the two becoming one with Christ in the center yeah it didn't turn out like I wanted anyway there we go. Something like that. Then you have, um, sorry. Then you have this central mirror. All right. The two becoming one in the joining of the two pillars, like the two olive trees, the two becoming one. So I think what they are trying to do, and when I say they, I mean the elite are trying to duplicate again always duplicating or replicating what god has in store now exactly is this you know are are there's are these two super beings going to come together and make one super being and all this different things i don't know that's that's i have no idea okay i'm just telling you what i've seen and what the holy spirit has led me to believe and this was evident when i did this video on the uh, the two witnesses it was it was absolutely not on my account. I couldn't have cut thought of any of this. Okay, I'm not. I'm, don't I have no idea what the Lord does sometimes, but this is what He was showing me. Okay, the two pillars and 
of course the two the the towers becoming you know one they're trying to replicate this dna um okay so let's listen to this video real quick and we'll close this out i thought this was kind of interesting take a listen Sometimes you need to save a hero, even from himself. Dad always used to say we're stronger when we stick together. Powers activate. Let me go. That's insane, Walt. You can't reveal yourself to the cameras. You mean too much to the city. To the world. Clark. I know that you've been living two lives and having to lie to me about it every day. Close, you're not making any sense. She ends up falling into this cloud here. So they go on and that's pretty much it there. Oh my god. Let's see here. So I'll close with this. Just as a couple things in here. Kind of interesting how they're from another place and come here when the world is about ready to end. And you can catch some undertones here. But uh, I'll close with this. God bless you guys. Take care. Welcome to Comic Vine Straight Minute Expert where we make you an expert in just three minutes. You've most likely seen them on a small screen. You might have seen them in the form of extreme justice. One can turn into an animal. The other can turn into water. This week, let's talk about the Wonder Twins. The Wonder Twins first appeared on the all-new Super Friends Hour on television in 1977, and they also made their comic debut that same year in Super Friends number 7. While the Super Friends were away, Wendy and Marvin noticed a spaceship had landed on Earth. Hopping onto their bicycles, they discovered two humanoid aliens, Zan and Jaina, and an alien monkey named Bleak, all dressed in purple. The two arrived on Earth to warn them that the world was in danger. A villain known as Brax had a secret lair on their home planet, Exor. They had overheard Brax's plan to destroy Superman's adopted homeworld. The Super Friends and the Justice League were both called in. The two showed that by joining their hands and commanding their powers to activate, they could change. Jane took on the shape of a creature of Exor, while Zan took on the shape of a wave. After the two were nearly defeated by Grax and were saved by Wendy and Marvin, they announced that they were orphans back on Exor, and they wanted to learn from the Super Friends just as Wendy and Marvin did. Finally, in Super Friends number 14, their origin was told. On their planet, two races existed, the normal humans and the shapeshifters. Over time, the two races intermarried, and the shapeshifters seemed to vanish. Once in a while, children were born with shapeshifting powers. Unfortunately, shortly after Zan and Jaina's birth, a plague hit Exor, and their parents were among the many that died. Having no other living relatives, the two orphans were adopted by Dentwill, the owner of the Trans World Shows, which was basically an intergalactic traveling circus. This was also where they first met Bleak the Monkey. Growing up in the circus, one day they asked what their future held, and were surprised to hear that they were to live out their lives as performers. And this world is a circus. <laughs> Just want to throw that in there. They turned 20. They had no rights under the laws of Exor. They also discovered that the other performers got paid, yet they did not. 
secretly practicing and improving their powers, they convinced Dentwill that he owed them quite So there's a lot of little things in that, you know? You can take that for what it's worth. You can look and watch this yourself. Uh, there's a lot of undertones in there that, that ring true to me, that uh, things of, you know, this is something maybe to look into. Uh, remember, we got to be like children to enter the kingdom of God. So, you know, maybe this is something, something to this. All right, guys, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. God bless you all.